Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this Wednesday morning? Or should I say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you're watching this video? This is Sea Temptation coming at you again with another commentary of Chicago Talk. Wanted to begin this video by saying namaste and peace be on to you and everybody that's watching this video. Today, or should I say from last night up until this morning, I had saw a video that really, really disturbed me. It didn't sit right in my spirit. And I decided I want to record this video to speak up on this. And it just really just, I mean, I was, my mouth just dropped. I was like, damn, why people can be so damn sick? I want to holler at you brothers for just a minute here. Between last night and this morning, I saw a video, and this video went viral, and this definitely went viral. It's all, all over on Instagram and on YouTube as well. I want to talk about this young lady, by the, her name is Miss Jasmine Erlin, found out that she was raped, uh, sexually assaulted at a, uh, at a nightclub. She was celebrating her birthday, and I saw the actual video of it, and it was quite obvious that that girl was sexually assaulted because this man sat up here, slipped some in her drink, slipped a Mickey in her drink, and I'm just going to put it out there and keep it real with it. The man sat up there and slipped something in her drink. She was slumped over. You know, she was slurring, you know, and next thing you looked up, though, she was, he had her somewhere cuffed off somewhere in the back somewhere of the club, you know, had her humped over cupping on her breast, kissing on her neck, and just humping her, and she kept saying on the video, no, stop, you know, I don't want to do this. When someone is intoxicated or incapacitated to that point where they say no, and she's crying out for help, newsflash, that is sexually being assaulted. She did not consent to that act. That is a crime. It's not right, and I hope that man who did that to her gets arrested. You know, and then the part, and then, but I guess she, apparently she was strong enough to hold that camera up. Matter of fact, it was reported that she was on Facebook Live when that incident happened. And the part that really disturbed me was when everybody was in the club and nobody didn't try to get security or try to get help for her and try to, you know, back to try to push this man off of her. I mean, that's a prime example right there of being a pure D straight up fuck boy. You hear me? I mean... I mean, goddamn, all these women out here, and you want to take advantage of one lady in a club, you know, and that was just, I saw that boy, I mean, that just really just pissed me off, <clears throat> and you got to excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, just, I'm battling with a cold, so my voice may be going in and out, but I'm going to just bear with me, but the fact is, for someone to just sexually assault this woman like that, I mean, goddamn, in a public place at that you know, you got all these women that's willing to give up their body for you, and then you want to just take a body like that, just involuntarily. I mean, when someone does something like that, that is pure, that is a sexual assault, you know, and that mean, that man needs to be in jail for that, because that is a crime, you know, and then you're going to go against her free will, I mean, you know, and especially when she's intoxicated or drunk, and I believe that he slipped some, slipped a mickey in her drink, though, because, uh, you know, because it's obvious she said, no, help me, I don't want to do this. So, I mean, that, I mean that, that, that's proof right there. And on top of that, the people that did the video, my advice to you, you need to turn that video over to Atlanta police. Don't let them do what they have to do to try to get this man arrested and in jail. Because ain't no telling though how many other women that he might prey upon like that or do that to. I mean, and I heard him when he had said that he didn't do that and... Blase Skippy Wee and, you know, I was in the club having a good time and stuff. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with going out to the club and kicking it and having a good time. But, God damn, you want to sit up here and slip something in a drink, though, and just take advantage of her like that? You know, and just go against her free will? I mean, and she's married? I mean, get the fuck out of here with that. I mean, that's just sickening. That's just, and I hate to say this, and I don't normally say this, but I'm going to put it out there like it is. I hope they don't flag me for this. But that's just a prime example. That dude right there who did this to her, that is a prime example of being a pure D fuck boy. I mean, because he didn't have the right to sit up here and just take up, but just use her like that. You know, just try to assault her like that. And no matter how, you know, she might have dressed provocatively. And I saw the, I saw it in the video where she was twerking, you know, but that still don't give him the right though to, 
to uh, to, to assault her like that. I mean, I got a real serious problem with that, you know, for because I was a victim of that once. And I'm going to tell you something. That shit right there ain't fucking cool whatsoever. I don't give a damn. No means no. You know, and then for a motherfucker to sit up here and just, just take, you know, use that girl's body like that and humping on her and cupping on her breast, that motherfucker right there ain't shit. You hear me? For someone to do something like that to a woman like that, I mean, your ass need to be shot for that. And then when I saw, when they interviewed, when they showed the, the husband, you know, he claimed, you know, he's up there drinking and talking about that one cool and blah, blah, blah. You know, any real nigga that sits up here and does his wife like that would try to find that motherfucker and shoot his ass, though. But that's, I mean, I don't believe in violence, but, you know, for a man to sit up here and witness a wife, you know, being sexually assaulted, any real man would, you know, saw something like that, though, they would be looking for his ass, though, and his, they would have put a bullet in his ass, though. Let's be real about it. I mean, because, man, that, that was just straight up, that, that was just, when I saw that video, I mean, that just made my stomach turn and it fucked me up. For someone, I mean, to literally rape somebody on Facebook Live, I mean, that shows you right there, that son of a bitch ain't shit right there. I mean, I mean, I, I got a serious problem with that. Some people say that he didn't rape her, but I truly believe he did, though, for someone to sit up here on camera to say, stop, help, don't do this, you know, help, you know, get off of me, you know, that, that's, that, no means no, god damn it, no means no, that's plain and simple, so, ladies and gentlemen, check out that video on my like videos about Jasmine Erlin, because, that, that was just, that was just some fucked up shit right there from the word, say, giddy up, because this woman wanted to celebrate her birthday, you know, and she traveled, you know, from her home state to Atlanta to kick it, ain't nothing wrong with kicking it, but, you know, nowadays when you be in these clubs, you got to be really careful, because you can't trust anybody, you know, because I learned that a long time ago, anytime you order a drink, you got to watch your drink, you know, because anybody can slip some shit in there, don't accept drinks for no goddamn strangers, you know, because these, these motherfuckers out here, they are really slick, though. And you really got to watch yourself, because that's why I don't really go out to clubs anymore, because, you know, motherfuckers is just desperate like that. And it's just It just saddens me to see some bullshit like that on YouTube and on Instagram, and the shit is on Facebook. I mean, man, these motherfuckers ain't got no type of heart whatsoever. I mean, that's just a prime example right there. And then try to be aggressive and, to, and play it off and say, oh, well, that wasn't me and all that. Bitch, that was you. That was you because the video speaks for his motherfucking self. People, leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think about this story. Smash that like button and share and subscribe. You know, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm trying to keep it out there. That's one. I'm going to keep it 1,000 on this because that what that bastard did to that woman was totally wrong. He took advantage of her. He sexually assaulted her. And that shit is not cool. It's not right. You know, and he needs to pay for what the fuck he did to that woman in a club on top of that. I mean, goddamn, all these women out here and you want to just assault somebody in a damn club club in a public place god damn anyway i'm gonna get ready to end this video because just thinking about it just makes me fucking sick to my stomach so again to my subscribers thank you so much though for your support continue the, the prayers though with my mom because she is going through she has a medical condition i'm trying to deal with keep her in your prayers um everybody and like i said again share and subscribe so again this is c temptation coming at you again with another video of chicago talk so i'm gonna tell all my people that i love you i bless you i have faith in you and i realize the spirit in each and every one of you so until the next video i'm gonna go ahead and drop this mic i'm about to be up out of here one love to everybody, namaste, and I bid you all peace. And for God's sakes, if you see something crazy like that going down, I don't care if it's at a club or a restaurant or whatever the case is, if you see something like that, call the police. Call somebody. You know, reach out to them for help because that shit that I saw was inexcusable. It was just, it didn't make any sense, and it was just low down. So, one love, people. See, temptation is out.